any womb that is safe, be it the world or the earth, if it is safe, then the world can prosper. There will be peace, global peace. There will be development. So that we call our NGO safe womb. The biological womb, okay, is where we nurture life, human life. But the global womb is where we should nurture all the resources in which God has blessed the world. So we should make the world a safe womb. Safe ah, for everybody. Wow. Nice. That's yes. a good one. That's, That's a good global. one. Global. global. That's yeah. a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Thank you. Global in everything. Yes. Global, it's psychologically, a, a emo yeah, emotionally, yeah. physically. Ah, yes. And then and the womb of the earth holds all our mineral and other natural resources. If you make it self, then you don't throw, you don't go and mine it and bomb it, and then make it to now turn into a tsunami, of turning the whole ecosystem. You are right. It's a safe womb. So we should be kept safe as well. Of the safe room, you are respecting the values for life. Life is everything. Wow. Thank God, you. go on, my sister. Go Thank on, my you. sister. <laughs> go on, my sister. Go on, I appreciate my sister. you. Yeah, go on. Talk a little bit about the shea butter. Oh, the real, oh pure, my A hundred percent Nigerian <laughs> medicinal shea butter. butter. Yeah, that's very good, Linda. Thank you for reminding me about it. Uh, because we have a whole lot of resources in the rural areas. And that is why the agreed conclusion should be addressed and implemented to the letter. Because from rural area, we get all these organic things that are healthy for the body and for the soul. So we try to empower rural women to produce sheer butter. American, we say sheer butter. Yeah, this is quite medicinal. We know the cosmetic industry, they put it in the hair cream, a body cream. But the one from Nigeria is so medicinal. You can use it for sore throat, for cough, for inflammation, for ache on the body. Headache is quite medicinal. And so we are trying to promote that. And when we're talking about women empowerment, if entrepreneurs here, can come down to Nigeria, come down to Africa to harvest all this natural endowment like the chia butter. It will help to bring health to the developed world. It will also empower Arera people economically and then they can also bring awareness to the people to appreciate what they have so that they are not adulterated. They are done in pure form. So that's what I'm promoting to try to bring the pure butter in its 100% state and I know anybody who uses it is going to thank God that for using it to empower the rural people in Africa and Nigeria in particular. Besides that we are also trying to um, propagate use of Moringa. My friend introduced me to that although it's the uh, Moringa oleifera. Somebody told me about it, but now she brought it home because I saw her actually eat it. And I can see the effect on her. You see her age, she's so youthful. Her skin is so fresh and full of moisture. And say, okay, when we combine uh, uh, Moringa to a staple food, Gari, yes. got from cassava, is going to enrich our people. Our women will grow Moringa. They will now prepare shea butter. They will use it, Moringa, to enrich their gallery. They will find world markets, and they will know that the rural woman has a lot to contribute to global development. Justina, I'm so glad that you mentioned the shea butter because last year there was a woman here that imported from Ghana, just like Nigeria, the rural area, and she says a lot of the the shea butter that we're buying in New York City off the street is not processed right and it doesn't have the nutrients that it claims to have and a lot of people don't know 
that is 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 being uh, adulterated. It's been adulterated. It's commercialized. It's not the real shea butter. So they're not getting the real nutrients that they think they're getting. They're getting a, a commercial product that's being manufactured just to sell. So that's why I really want to work with you, Justine, and to let people know that they they can connect to to rural women and they can buy the real shea butter yeah. as a group. Because I tried your shea butter and I love it. Yeah. I couldn't Thank wait you. to get the real shea butter. Thank you. A little pinch mm. will cover my yeah. whole face. Exactly. It comes in a block. Mm. And her and your shea butter you could eat. It's processed yeah. and it's a long, intensive mm. process. Mm. It's not made just to she sell shea butter. And a, there's a lot of fake shea butter out there, out here, especially in New York. So I would love for people to connect with you. And by connecting with you, they'd be getting the real product product and at the same time they would be con connecting to the people yeah. and they'll know who's making their shea butter. We really really appreciate this sort of partnership right. and that's what we're asking for to actualize all our promises and that's why I appreciate Linda so much if people have her type of heart and mind towards the rural people, towards Africans, there would be global understanding and development. And there be no strife because if you are happy and I'm happy, everybody is happy. But now, when they believe that the advanced world is to rob us of all our blessings, and then by so doing, if they cannot get it directly, diplomatically, politically, they use a strife, uh, try to cause conflict. We don't want that anymore. No more conflict in Africa. We have more to offer than conflict. And if they tap into our resources, they will get more blessings that they are getting from ammunition trade and mercenary activities and bombing and destruction. We want global peace through internal and external trade, beginning from the products of the rural woman. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I think a lot of people don't understand how we're all globally connected. We are. And one of the things we do in Ghana by working with sustainable agriculture is we have to keep our subsistence farmers but help our subsistence farmers and that's what we're doing our subsistence farmers are becoming organic farmers and we don't need the big agro biz businesses the, 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 the same moneyed people that created the financial crisis to get everybody in the global food market so we have to fight for our own food sovereignty and it's very very important because it really makes me sad when I see a country like America that is competing with rural women and I think the whole world can learn from Africa's rural women because they understand exactly what's going on because when you get when the multinationals come into your country who gets poorer the women yeah. that's why African women are here this is very serious business this is life and death mm -hmm. okay I thank you, with you thank you Justina thank you so much. I pray that we remain connected and our tribe shall increase for the peace of the world and development of everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.